Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Doris Burke. Also joining us from the sidelines, David Aldridge. We'll see the Dallas Mavericks facing the Indiana Pacers. Now, a look at Dallas's starting lineup. We've got Van Exel. Nowitzki is out there with LaFrance. Then there's Finley. And it's Nash in at the point. Van Exel against Halliburton. Van Exel dishes to Nash. Nowitzki outside. Back to Nash. Just five on the clock. From deep. Knocks down the three ball. And the jump shot of Nash. Poetry in motion. A super efficient shooter from downtown. Healed outside. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. The real come at us. And we're coming right back at you. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now here's Nowitzki. Over Siakam. Can't hit the turnaround jumper. Neesmith, the pass to heel. About a minute and a half through the first quarter. Nash against Halliburton. Over Nash. Halliburton, that's good. Wherever he's gone, the shot has followed. Halliburton perfecting his craft in the mid-range. Here's the pass to Van Exel. Nowitzki against Siakam. Unloads from 13. And the shot goes down. Poor design there defensively. They, they know he's a knockdown shooter from that spot. That's not coming with the right mentality. The defender neither closes the space nor challenges the shot. That's frustrating as a coach, boy. Here's Heald after Dirk Nowitzki's bucket. Siakam outside. Here's Turner, and Turner throws it down. Miles Turner is simply a workhorse. I mean, he keeps plays alive with his length and activity. Van Exel against Teal. Now here's Van Exel. It's stolen by Heel. And they're running. Here's Siakam. And Siakam throws it down. Well, this guy has made giant strides in his plane making. Nice setup by Buddy Heald right there. Halliburton against Nash. Nowitzki with the screen on Halliburton. The shot by Nash, no good. Pacers leading by four. Neesmith, the pass to Halliburton. To the inside. Ball's not loose. Nash with it. Here's the floater, and he sinks the layup. Nash has got five. And Nash is such a clever player, a sensational floater from such an unpredictable player. Heel kicks to Turner, passes it to Halliburton. Over Nash, and Halliburton gets it to go on the assist by Turner. And I like to see this. They're calling his number early, and he's delivering. They know that if this guy goes off, their chances of winning rise exponentially. Now, here's Van Exel. Hasn't made one yet. Shot clock at six. Nowitzki a screen. And the basket by Van Exel. And with loads of confidence in his game, Van Exel believes he can score on every shot. Siakam against Nowitzki. Some solid D from Nowitzki. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. Back to Nash. And he hits it to tie the game up. Seven points in the game. You can't let Nash get inside like that. He's so nimble and will find a way to finish. Halliburton passes to Siakam. Count it. His second make in four attempts. And their post play has been really solid right off the bat. Van Exel against Teal. 
And it's Nash in the corner. High arcing shot. He lays it in. He knew what he wanted to do all along. The teardrop. And here's Halliburton. He'll bring it up for Indiana. Healed outside. Dallas making a switch here. Naharaj checked in. Checking in for the Mavericks. Number 14, Eduardo Naharaj. Siakam against Nowitzki. They kick out to heel. And the Pacers, another three. See how eager heel is to catch and release. That is what you call a shooter extraordinaire. Nash against Halliburton. Back to Nowitzki. Down to five on the shot clock. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Turner's got his fourth rebound in this one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, the evolution of Pascal Siakam has been such a pleasure to watch. The work ethic is commendable, and he's learning how to be a leader, guys. And what do you guys think so far about the offensive approach for the Pacers? So far, they've moved the ball well, leading to open, high-percentage looks. Lots of assists in this one. I think the other thing they've done a great job of is making their presence felt inside, converting tons of pain opportunities. Throw good, Siakam. Bell is checked in for Ben Exel. Siakam hits them both. Here is Nahara. And looks like the illegal pick was set. Yep, that's right. That'll get their attention. Uh, when a pick like that is questionable and creates that much of an advantage for the offense, you have to blow the whistle. I don't think there's any question. There are so many rules that favor the offense these days. You've got to be able to equal things out when an illegal screen is set. Now here's Turner. Pass to Siakam. Back to Turner. Over the fronts. The shot by Turner, no good. Well, tremendous defensive effort on the interior. That's the kind of contest you want. Halliburton against Nash. Pass to the fronts. And here's Bell. Dallas moving the ball around. Nash with no one around. Dallas again missing. Hard to figure out how he doesn't knock that one down. No defender in sight. And Siakam throws it down. Yeah, I have to love the aggression right there. He's got the vertical. Might as well put it to good use. Healed against Bell. Nash outside. Back to Bell. Nash outside. Looking to end the run. It's rebounded by Neesmith. Indiana lead by seven. Halliburton for three. And the rebound goes to Nowitzki. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Nahara kicks it over to Nash. A floater, and the layup is up and in. And now that's 11 points for Steve Nash. Boy, the bounce pass put right on the money. Nice assist. Siakam looking around. The pass to Halliburton. Here's Neesmith. Here's Siakam. Looks good, is good. Bucket number four from the field. He's taken only six shots. And that is tenacity from Pascal Siakam. He was simply undeterred. There's a screen. Passes to Nash. There's the dish to Nowitzki. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. 
on the pick and roll. Nowitzki uses his size so well, disrupting the D and getting himself into shooting position. Yeah, I mean, maybe could have tried for a more memorable dunk than that one. And we know he's capable of those memorable ones. Here is Nahara. Still yet to score. Took the opportunity when he saw it. And the quickness of Nash's game, just taking a shot there before the defense has a chance to react. Now, Siakam. He's got 10. And here is Neesmith. Healed from outside. Score it. His third straight basket in three tries. If you look at the active three-point percentage list, Mr. Buddy Heald is near the top. This guy is the very definition of sharpshooter. Now, here's Nash. 13 points in the game. And Aaron Neesmith gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. So it's both teams making substitutions here. Substitution on the court. A shot goes in. First shot, first basket. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Now, here's Siakam. Out left to the wing. Pass to McConnell. Tapping a screen on Nash. Six on the shot clock. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. First personal foul. This is his first free throw of the game. And when he's got himself to the line this season, he's come through right around 74% of the time. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. And he sinks the second. Mavericks trail by six. Nash kicks to Williams. Nahara the pass to Nash. And he gets the whistle for the three second call. And some changes here for the Pacers. Isaiah Jackson comes in for Pascal Siakam. And Halliburton subbed in for TJ McConnell. Pacers leading by six. A minute 50 left in the first quarter of the game. Toppin sets a screen for Halliburton. Here's Nemo. Offensive rebound. Jackson a screen on Bell. Here's Nemo. And the rejection by Bradley. Here is Nahara, still scoreless. It's stolen by Matherin. To the paint, here's Toppin, and he banks in the lane. Listen, the painted area is where Obi Toppin can be so dangerous. The athleticism and the tools he has, look out. Pass to Nahara. Now, here is Bell. Not a lot of room. Inside. Here's Bradley. That's no good. Misses his first shot of the night. That's a surprise. I mean, really out of character for him to miss when the defense is not right up on him. Up top, Matherin. Defended by Bell. Left side, Jackson. And the pass to Nemhoff. That's good. And it's Jackson with the assist that time. Crushing it right now. They've done an excellent job of spacing the floor. And what surprises me is the defense hasn't done anything to take away that three-point shot. That has been their preferred weapon tonight. Here's Nash, rebounded by Jackson. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. They lead by 11. Pass to Jackson. 
fader on the way. And the last second attempt does not go in for him. And so it's Indiana holding on to an 11-point cushion as we get ready to take a break. They're shooting the ball so well in this one. A great performance from the field. And we've got more on 2K Sports coming your way after this break. And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. And guys, we've seen a confident-looking Pacers team out there. Just stretching out the floor in that first, uh, they had the defense scrambling. And that was obviously the plan coming in. Now the big question, can they maintain that efficiency from range as the game goes along? Here's Van Exel. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, this is the group Don Nelson has on the floor right now. They've got Eduardo Nahara. Van Exel is out there with Bell. Then there's Bradley, and it's Williams at the three. Ooh, he put a little extra on that one. He does. He doesn't usually finish soft either. Obviously, he can when necessary, but not that time. Pass to Halliburton. Toppin sets a screen for Halliburton. Trains the three-pointer. Halliburton's got the lead up to 12 now for the Pacers. What you love about Tyrese Halliburton is the consistency from the perimeter. This guy can make deep shots. Bradley is screen on Halliburton. And the basket by Van Exel. Indiana leading by 10. And we're about a minute into the second quarter of play. Halliburton passes to Jackson. It's stolen by Van Exel. Outside Williams. Find to find Bradley. Gets it to him. It's good. Hey guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Halliburton on the wing. Covered by Van Exel. The rejection by Bradley. Bell passes to Nahara. He doesn't hit that one. To the middle. Here's Jackson. And the dunk by Jackson. Oh, inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. Time now to turn to our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David. Thank you, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise, and their point guard, Tyrese Halliburton, has a lot to do with that. Coach Rick Carlisle said his will to win is spectacular for a young player. He's the motor, the engine who drives our team. When people look and say we're fun to watch, he's the head of the snake. He sets the tone for that in a big way. Kevin? In a big way. High praise. Hey, David, thank you. Mavericks making a switch here. Finley's checked in. Bradley no good on the free throw. Pacers leading by eight. Here's Matherin. That's good. And it's Halliburton with the assist. Well, that is about recognition right there from Tyrese Halliburton. He recognizes the overcommitment, makes the defense pay. As to Finley. Pick by Williams. Finley the pass to Williams. Sinks the triple. Williams has got six points. You can't just stop when there's a pick set up. Got to fight over it as a defender. You know exactly what that takes. It takes energy. It takes activity. It takes intensity. Now, here is Halliburton. He has seven. Count that one. My goodness, what a triple drive by Mr. Tyrese Halliburton. Outside Williams. Bradley sets the pick for Williams. Nahara kicks to Williams. Here's Van Exel. 
Bucket number three. He's a perfect three for three to start. Well, just tremendous composure on the interior. Read the defense, take advantage of the situation, and deliver. Now the pass to Matherin. Indiana moving it around. Passes it to Jackson. Five on the clock. Halliburton outside. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Great shooters trust their shooting motion. Tyrese Halliburton with the jumper. Here is Nahara. Still without a basket. Here's Van Exel. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. Yeah, and close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Matherin finds Halliburton. Down low. It's stolen by Bradley. to Van Exel. Now Bradley. Van Exel with it. Dallas needs to get off a shot. Bradley can't cash in on the 10-foot jump. Boy, a clean, close look. What a missed opportunity. Through the contact from long range, and he almost got the hoop to fall. Instead, he'll shoot three at the line. Yeah, lots of skill to contend with if you're guarding Benedict Mavericks. It's not an easy cover. Steve Nash checked in for the Mavericks. He hits the second from the line. Nails the third. Mavericks trail by 12. Now here's Van Exel. He has six. Just five to shoot. Shoots. Lasers with the rebound. Turner's got his sixth rebound on the night. And some changes here for the Pacers. Siakam is checked in for Toppin. And it's Neesmith in for Benedict Matherin. And Dallas also making a switch. Dirk Nowitzki, he's checked in for Bradley. Siakam passes to Heal. And here's Halliburton, defended by Nash. Turner with a screen on Nash. Halliburton kicks to Turner. Kicks it out to Siakam. Six to shoot. Off target with his three. He is too good a shooter, guys, to be left open like that. The defense just dodged a bullet there. Van Exel against Heal. And the officials will call the illegal screen right there. And then not the most common call you'll see in the NBA, but hard to argue that pick wasn't illegal. It is really difficult to get your feet completely set, to stay completely still. It's almost surprising to me that it isn't called more often. Now here's Heald. The 12-point lead, their biggest of the game. And a wide-open look for Halliburton. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth, he is six for nine on the stat sheet. And Dallas calls their first time out of the game. And so it's Dallas with it. Nash with it. 13 points in the game. The teardrop falls in. Nash has got 15 points. Well, the touch and the focus. What a pretty move in the lane. Back to Halliburton. Pass to Siakam. Four on the clock. And Siakam throws it down. Well, you love the relentless energy from Siakam. It's sort of a staple of his game. Gets to the offensive glass there. Halliburton against Nash. To the paint. Here's Finley. 
good on the three point shot. Finley's got his first bucket of the game and he's on the board for three. Uh, Nowitzki just so unselfish when he sees a teammate wide open doesn't take long to zip that pass right in the pocket. Turner with a screen on Nash. Halliburton for three hits it from three point range. Halliburton's got the lead up to 14 now for Indiana. And an eye for an eye. Both teams working to stretch the floor. Well, that three point shot just gives you so much room to operate on the offensive end. Now, here's Nash. He's got 15. Shot clock at five. Floats one up. It doesn't go for him. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Siakam outside. He kicks it to Turner. Dishes it to Heal. Some nice passing here by Indiana. Halliburton outside. Crystal blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. The frame of Halliburton makes you think he can't finish through contact. But, folks, that's a wiry, strong frame right there. He's getting his first free throw attempt of the game here. And with his percentage at 87, he's done just about everything they could have asked when it comes to free throw shooting. Catching up on the changes for Dallas. Bradley comes in for Eduardo Nahara. And it's Williams in for Ben Exel. Now, here's Nash. He dishes it to Bradley. Kicks it to Nowitzki. That one goes in. Nowitzki's got six points. I tell you what, it's, it's almost like stealing to watch how he plays the game from this seat. And there's the pass to Turner. Halliburton against Nash. That one falls. Halliburton's got 22. Darius Halliburton is putting in work right now. This guy getting to his spots and scoring with ease. Dallas calls timeout. Mavericks trail by 17. Nash outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nash. Going inside. And it's denied. Sent back by Siakam. Passes it to Halliburton. From the arc. It's hauled in by Nowitzki. Nowitzki's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Back to Nash. Inside. Nowitzki's shot is no good. And the way he was able to reach out towards that release had an impact. Well, no question. He altered that shot. And most of the time, that's just as good as blocking it. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 22. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. One thing we've learned in the NBA, the game is never over. So you've got to continue to score, continue to build your lead. And so it's Dallas with it. After Tyrese Halliburton was able to get the triple. Five to shoot. Nash with the screen on Siakam. Nowitzki for three. It's rebounded by Indiana. And the great shooters know when they've got enough opening to go for the three. I didn't think it was a bad choice on that possession. Now, here's Neesmith. Turner finds Halliburton. Healed outside. Jacks up a three. And it's Bradley with the rebound. Mavericks trail by 20. Abdul Wahed. He's covered by Halliburton. Here's Nash. That's a basket. His eighth from the field, eight of 14. Just a late reaction there from the defense, and he is always going to finish that. One. So the Pacers call timeout, their first of the game. Here. 
Nemhard's checked in. LaFrance is checked in for Dallas. Here's Nemhard, defended by Nash. Screen by Siakam. Here's Nemhard, four on the clock. Siakam, good. Siakam's got four points now in the quarter. This guy's got incredible all-around skill set. Pascal Siakam from the paint, yes, sir. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nash. Unloads from 13. The shot, no good. Pacers leading by 20. Here's Nemhard. Here's Siakam. And there it is for him. Siakam's got 16 points. Yeah, Pascal Siakam now with a tighter handle, now can manipulate the defense as that guy dictating action and pick and roll play. Abdul Wahed covered by Heel. Tries from seven. In deep, Nowitzki drops it in. He's got eight. What a terrific pass. Work the ball inside and create a good look for your teammate. Pass to Turner. The dish to heel. Indiana moving the ball away. From past the arc. It's rebounded by Dallas. Abdul Wahed covered by heel. outside and the last shot before the buzzer is off and through one half it hasn't even been close it's the Pacers running away with it live from Cambridge Fieldhouse you're watching 2K Sports with the second half upon us. We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. Tyrese Halliburton has been sensational. Yeah, and just look at the numbers from the first half. He has been very efficient. I think they've taken their time. They've showed incredible patience. It's a sign of a well-coached ball club. They've got Halliburton. Siakam is out there with Neesmith. 
Then there's Buddy Heald, and it's Turner in at the five spot. So that's the group out there for Indiana. Here's Heald, Steve Nash making his last shot. Now Heald, Siakam outside. Turner with a screen for Halliburton. Out of bounds, it'll be Maverick's ball. Mavericks trail by 18. Nash outside. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nash. Softly drops in the floater. Nash has got 21 in the game. Well, that's a nice play. You've got to read the situation and go to your floater game when necessary. Siakam passes to Turner. Nice D from Nowitzki. Here's Dallas. They haven't given up any points here in the second half. They get it back. And it is flushed down with a nice jam. And how about the offensive rebound with a little extra punch on the putback? You're right, Greg. As they look to trim the deficit, could we see them send a few more bodies to the boards from here on out? Maybe. Just maybe. We're talking about a guard who's got some bounce. Tyrese Halliburton with the hops. Average trail by 16. Nash outside. Nowitzki with the screen on Hellebert. And there's the foul. It'll go on Tyrese Hellebert. That is his first foul of the game. First team foul. On defense, the Pacers. 22 is their biggest lead. Pass to Nowitzki. And it's Nash in the corner. Five on the clock. Over Halliburton. Buries it from about 10 feet away. Nash has got six points in the quarter. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. It's a 14-point game. Turner looking around. The pass to Neesmith. Drills the three-pointer. Neesmith has got five. Such a reliable threat from range. You'd think the defense might key on him a little bit more. Right now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldrin. Thanks, Kevin. The Pacers are a team on the rise, and Tyrese Halliburton says one of the favorite parts about the way we're building the culture here is it's not just showing up for a game. That's it. We watch games, text about games, talk about games when we get to the arena. I just want to be around guys who love basketball and want to be great. Kevin? Isn't that special, David? Hey, thanks for that report. Halliburton passes to Heald. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. Second. Get Michael Finley. Buddy Heald so active on the offensive end, finds the defense in a compromised position and gets what he's looking for. For Indiana, they have scored six points from their eight attempts at the line so far. And how about as a group, 80% on the season, one of their best attributes. Free throw drops for Heald. For a guy with the shot mechanics of Buddy Heald, you'd love to see him get to the free throw line more, but it's really not his game. He is just a dead-eye three-point shooter. Both free throws good from Heald. Right around three minutes into the second half. Dallas calls timeout.
Nash outside. Passes it to LaFrance and the foul on Miles Turner. That's his first foul. Personal foul. Second team foul. Finley up top. He has five. Back to Van Exel. Down to five on the shot clock. Nowitzki a screen. Again, the miss by the Mavericks. Normally, he'll drill that shot, and I'm, I'm sure they'll look to find him in that spot again. Uh, no doubt. Very good play call, good execution. Sometimes it just doesn't fall. Getting it done on both ends, and it shows up in the score. Well, what I love is the energy they're bringing right now. They're ignoring the scoreboard and playing hard. Now, here's Nash. He's got 23. Van Exel. No good, unable to end this run. Indiana leading by 22. Here's Siakam. Solid play in the low block, and that one's good. And that's now 18 points for Siakam. Halliburton against Nash. It's a mark. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. It's going to be on Miles Turner. Oh, that's a great job by Nash. Just earning that call. He makes the defense so uncomfortable. And a chance for just a second to check out the scoring breakdown Shoot for the two. Pacers. Guys, the D hasn't had an answer for the three-point shooting, which is why they continue to just fire away from deep. Well, I also noticed, guys, how much they move the ball in this one. Selfless, willing to pass the ball to a teammate with a better look. So Nash nails both of them. Well, what you love about Nash, he's a coach on the floor, dictates the pace, always in total command of his team. Now, here is Halliburton. 27 points for him. Well, put all that size to good use. Rip it off the backboard. Nash outside. Novitski kicks to Van Axel. Nowitzki with the screen on heel. Here's Van Exel. Out the basket. Van Exel's got eight. And good work there from Van Exel. Finding some space inside and exploiting. Turner up top. Pass to Halliburton. Benedict Matherin, he's checked in for the Pacers. Second team foul. On the court for the Pacers. Number zero, Ben Siakam against Nowitzki. The 11 footer. Finley with the rebound. Mavericks trail by 20. Pass to LaFrance. Matherin against Nash. High post, Nowitzki. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. It's going to be on Miles' turn. You love how hard Nowitzki goes down there in the low block, making his presence felt. Now is shooting their fourth and fifth shots at the foul line in the game. Shooting two. free throw missing yeah, such a tremendous free throw shooter for his career nine times out of ten Dirk's going to drain it and he's good on the second and Halliburton's got the ball here for Indiana the biggest lead of the game was 24 points He kicks to Turner. 
A pass to heel. Lock at six. Turner with a screen on Ben Exel. And once again off the mark by Indiana. Mavericks trail by 19. Good, and the assist goes to Nash. Van Exel's got four points this quarter. And very few guys can move the ball like Nash. He knows where his shooters are at all times and makes feeding them look easy. Now, here is Halliburton. He's got 27 to the middle. To stop the drought, and he's good on the free ball. Halliburton's got 30. Their ability, again, to stretch the floor, particularly in this second half. And guys, boy, when you're hitting, it sure does work. It obviously opens up major options at the offensive end. No good on the triple. Some nice passing here by Dallas. Takes the alley-oop pass and dunks it down. And Nash is an incredible passer. Seems like he has eyes in the back of his head sometimes. One of the best. Now, here is Siakam. 18 points for him. It falls for basket number nine from the field. He's taken 14 shots to get there. Well, he's had terrific momentum all game. Pascal Siakam in his bag offensively. Pass to LaFrance. Now Van Exel covered by Heel. And Van Exel is good for three. Van Exel's got 13. Wow, you don't see him left alone very often. And of course, he makes good use of it. Halliburton against Nash. Puts it up from 12. Outside Matherin. That ball. Nice speed that time from Turner. Turner's got his fourth assist in this one. Mavericks trail by 20. Nash outside. The baseline J. Gets rebounded by Indiana. And here's Halliburton. He has 30. Pass to heel. Puts up a three. Finley with the rebound. Here's Dallas. Nash outside. They set the pick. Pass to LaFrance. Kicks it to Van Exel. To the inside. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's going to be on Siakam. No question, he got bumped on that shot. For Dallas, they have made three of their first five foul shots tonight. At the line for two. First free throw is good. Both teams deciding to change it up. Both shots good from the strike. Pacers leading by 18. The pass to Siakam. A jump hook, and he comes up with the deuce. Siakam's got 22. Well, you love the size and the length of Siakam, so he's comfortable in the painted area. Does nice work there. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. For Dallas, they have had seven opportunities at the free throw line and made good on five of them. For the Mavericks, Nick Van Exel taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on that one.
And the second free throw, good. Indiana leading by 19 points. Here's Nemhard. Siakam outside. Over LaFrentz. Hands the 12-footer. Siakam's got eight points in the quarter. That's why they call him Spicy P, cooking up a mid-range J. Go ahead, Pascal. Here's Nash. Count it good. Well, as usual, this guy cooking on the offensive end, but right now the other guys on his team have got to step forward. Inside. Healed, can't hit. Mavericks trail by 19. Now here's Van Exel. He's got 14. Nowitzki with the screen on Matherin. Van Exel passes to Nowitzki. Down through the hoop it goes. That's his fifth make on nine shots from the floor. I tell you, Dirk is going to hit these interior shots constantly. With his size, defenders don't have much of a chance in there. Heel kicks to Toppin. Three-pointer. And that's good. Buddy Heel for three. Heel's got 14 points. You simply must play better defense than that. This guy is too good from distance. Nash, the pass to LaFrance. Back to Nash. Count the bucket coming off a perfectly placed assist. 29 points for Nash. Oh, what a pretty pass. Throw to the open spot. Lead your teammate perfectly. Siakam outside. Over to the left wing. Takes the three. Connects from three-point range. Toppin's got his second bucket of the game to go. Well, big men like Toppin need to shoot from range, and he's showing he's got tremendous touch. Passes it to LaFrance. Dallas moving it around. Here's Nowitzki. Second shot opportunity. Chalk up two there. Nowitzki's got five points now in the quarter. Such a presence inside with the ball in his hands. Good decision by Dirk to put it right back up. Siakam inside. LaFrance pulls it in. LaFrance has got his fourth rebound in this one. Nash dishes to Van Exel. Nowitzki with the screen on heel. Here's Van Exel and another basket for Dallas. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Here's Nemhard, defended by Nash. To the paint, here's Siakam. The shot from the low post is good. Siakam's got 10 points in just the second half. Big miscommunication on defense. He recognizes it and quickly takes advantage. And that's typical of this guy. He's always reading the situation, reacting quickly and capitalizing. And so it's the Indiana Pacers taking a 19-point lead into the break. From the field, they have been outstanding, amazing shooting. That's what has them headed to a blowout. And we'll be back with you shortly. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he sliced the D wide open with his feet. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Well, that's what a great pass will do, right? You love the unselfish play. And there may not be a lot of drama down the stretch as we head into the fourth quarter, but stranger things have happened. So with Nowitzki sitting on the bench, this is the group Don Nelson has on the floor right now. Bradley is out there with Eduardo Nahara. Then it's Nash. Then there's Finley, and it's Bell in at the shooting guard position. Well, you have to understand how to score when you're in the paint and you are 6'5". Tyrese Halliburton, he knows the way. Bell with it. To the middle. 
and it's Bradley. That time on the assist by Bell. This is what we call highly efficient play. Working off the screen, getting to the cup. Pass to Halliburton. Outside Matherin. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Matherin showing his willingness to be ready on the catch. Go ahead. Pass to Finley. Bradley kicks to Finley. Halliburton against Nash. Shot clock at six. Bradley sets the pick for Nash. And Bradley gets it to go. And Nash, really just pure genius in that pick and roll. You give him any kind of space, and he's going to whip the pass right through the teeth of the defense. Now, here is Halliburton. And Jackson gets it to go. Sometimes a player is born with a passer's mindset. He deals it with conviction. And the pass to Bell. Back to Nash. Excellent defense there from Halliburton. Pacers leading by 22. Down low. And Toppin throws it down. Uh, the chemistry Toppin has with his teammates just get up over the rim and finish it with authority, Obi. Nash against Halliburton. Come on, come on. Ah! Shooting for Dallas, Steve Nash, two shots. Take a break, take a break, two shots. Free throw, good Nash. And Indiana making a change here. Heald's checked in. Free throws, good from Nash. And so it's Halliburton who brings up the ball for the Indiana Pacers. Passes to Matherin. This is to heel. At the elbow, it's Jackson. They kick out to heel. Six on the shot clock, and the three ball is good. And this is the game plan for him. He's a big part of their floor space. And right now, Greg, he is doing a great job delivering for this team. Productive and efficient. Now, here's Nash. He feeds it to Bradley. Over Jackson. Dallas again missing. The way, Greg, they're sharing the ball tonight, mesmerizing. Everyone's getting to touch it, and, and everyone contributing. Well, he's such a good athlete for a center. It's how he's able to succeed despite being one of the smallest fives in the NBA. Here's Finley, defended by Matherin. Al Finley. Count it. Well, so great when your offense produces a shot that close to the rim. The rest of the work becomes easier. Heald finds Halliburton. Jackson with the screen. There's the drive. Drops in the layup for two. Have to love the ball distribution. Keep everyone involved. Pass to Naharal. Dallas moving the ball around. There's a good screen. Bell passes to Brantley. Good on the bucket. Bradley's got six in the quarter. That's the idea. You work the ball into that area. It's a sweet spot. Outside Jackson. He dishes it to Heal. From 12 feet out, and again, it's Indiana converting. Well, Buddy healed on point from the mid-range. Don't give this guy any breathing room. Nash kicks to Nahara. Pass to Bell. Bradley is screen on heel. Bell passes to Bradley, and he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. 
just no chance there for the defense. Major size disadvantage. He's got no business trying to stop that slam. Just get out of the way. Now, here's Halliburton. And Halliburton slams it in. Yeah, that's Halliburton's handle getting by defenders to the spot and then finish with authority. Ahara, the pass to Brad. And two free throws coming up, unable to get that one to go with all the contact. First personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Mavericks, Sean Bradley. Two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. So both teams changing it up here. And so Bradley nails both of them. They are in complete control. This is the ultimate definition of the zone. Everything they've done has worked. And the pass there floated it up to the precise spot it needed to be. And no messing around on the finish. He powers it through. And the Mavericks call time here. Williams, he's checked in for Brant, and it's Bell in for Finley. Toppin's gotten everything to drop so far. Shooting four of four. Halliburton against Van Exel. Now here's Williams. He's tightly guarded. Six to shoot. Nowitzki against Toppin. And Van Exel is good for three. And Exel's got 13 points here in the second half alone. Here's Nemhard, defended by Bell. Halliburton passes to Methrin. Marvelous lead pass, and he throws it down. That's about powerful. Matherin knows when to score it. Easy dunk. And here is Van Exel. The shot's good. And Exel's got five points now this quarter. Matherin against Williams. There's the pass to Toppin. And Indiana, another three. The shooting fundamentals are real plus for Obi Toppin. He has consistent mechanics and a high release point. Van Exel passes to Nowitzki. Shoots over Toppin, and another basket for Dallas. A beautiful touch from Dirk Nowitzki, so confident in that mid-range. To the middle, here's Toppin. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Nowitzki's got eight rebounds in this game. Matherin against Van Exel. And that one is good with the extra effort on the glass. And Exel's got 23. And this is something this guy takes pride in, capitalizing on second chance opportunities. Smith finds Halliburton from 10 feet out, and the jumper is on the mark. Halliburton's got 36. You see Halliburton has the ability to rise above most defenders with the length. Just puts it to great use there. Bell dishes to Van Exel. Nowitzki with the screen on Halliburton. Unloads from nine. And Dallas again with the bucket. 
and just keeping things simple on offense. Van Exel spotting the open man and just getting him the ball. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. Shoots the three. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Yeah, coming down the stretch, they've become reliant upon their perimeter game. Boy, the three-point arc has been a major factor in what they've done here tonight. You love the aggressiveness. Van Exel no good. And they had some boxed coverage that turned into no coverage. Here's Matherin. Mavericks with the rebound. Listen, simply put, he's got to finish that. It's not like the defender was right on top of him. Drives to the hoop. And the basket by Van Exel. And Halliburton's got the ball here for the Pacers. Smith sets the pick for Halliburton. Here's the three. LaFrenz pulls it in. LaFrenz has got five rebounds tonight. Now, here is Bell. He's guarded closely. Lock at six to the left side wing. Baseline Jay on the way. And the Mavericks getting another bucket right there. Well, this guy plays with such confidence and ability to score in a variety of ways. Nice. Halliburton against Van Exel. The 11-footer. Smith kicks to Toppin. From outside, off the mark. So it's the Mavericks now. Passes it to Van Exel. Back to Bell. Dallas moving the ball around. The kick out to Williams. Over Matherin. Toppin pulls it in. I think this is a spot he has got to become more consistent from. If you want to command the defender's respect. Toppin a screen on Nowitzki. Here's Halliburton. And the Pacers can't get it to go. Van Exel passes to Bell. Back to Van Exel. It's rebounded by Indiana. And he's a good shooter from outside, but not sure from that game. Boy, we're seeing it more and more. Guys looking to create additional space by stepping back further from the line. Matherin against Williams. And the dunk by Smith. Oh, my goodness. Off his feet in a hurry. You love to see Jalen Smith play with aggression in the paint. Here's Van Exel. Takes it off the glass. Van Exel's got 29 in the game. And when he breaks out the crossover, you can be sure he's going to leave somebody in his wake. Nemhard the pass to Matherin. Halliburton for three. The shot missing. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And Exel's got 31. I tell you, he has some impressive moves in his repertoire. That's as good as it gets, but just one of many. Pass to Matherin. That falls. Nice feed that time from Halliburton. And Matherin's got 10 points in just the second half. Halliburton against Van Exel. Nowitzki a screen. From the top of the key, and Dallas again with the bucket. You can appreciate the fight now, but it isn't how they came into the game. No doubt. It felt like they were a little tight for much of the evening. Now they're in a better flow, but it may be too little too late. Here's Matherin following the score by Dallas. Fouled on the shot and picks up two points, so one free throw coming up. So it'll be Benedict Matherin shooting. Dirk Nowitzki picks up that one. Walker's checked in for the Pacers. T.J. McConnell comes in for Halliburton, and then for Dallas. Finley's checked in for Williams, and Nash is subbed in for Bell. Shooting one. Oh, I got Free throw, good, Matherin. 
boy, when you think about Benedict Matherin, this guy is a talented, aggressive scorer. His ceiling very high. He's going to have to be a little more efficient. Now, here's Nash. Nowitzki sets a screen for Nash. <laughs> Shooting foul. As the whistle blows, he'll shoot two free throws. Personal foul. Third it's going to be on Jarris Walker. At the line for the Mavericks, Steve Nash. Two shots. Shooting two. Free throw drops for Nash. Good on the second, so he makes them both. And so it's Indiana with it. There's a four-second difference from the shot clock to the game clock. Smith sets the pick for Matherin. Back to Smith, and it's Smith finishing it off. And once they smell blood in the water, you could see the killer instinct take over. And you want to save your best for last. Tonight, they've done that and then some. Here's Nash. So no problem for Indiana as they get the win. They won this game going away. They were the better basketball team by far tonight. And you got to commend this sort of dominance, particularly here at home. It's a great feeling when you play almost a perfect game and to have that crowd be so pumped up. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. For Greg Anthony, Doris Burke, and David Aldridge, and the rest of our terrific... <laughs>